Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and this is the joyous Crazy Sam's Mind from Sam Huang. Before we do this, very importantly, like it if you want to like it, subscribe to it if you want to subscribe to it. It would help me massively and share it verbally with people that might not know about the channel and look at onlinemagic.co. I have just uploaded the 13th chapter of the Royal Road course. You get loads of courses, rubber band magic course, coin magic course, rope magic course, how to practice course, and loads and loads of courses. Oh, the computer's making noise. Sorry, grossly unprofessional. Turn that down. Um, so have a look at that onlinemagic.co and read the Trustpilot reviews, very important. See what other people have got to say. Don't take my word from it because I am biased because I made it. Right. Uh, Crazy Sam's Mind. I didn't review Crazy Sam's Handcuffs, but I did talk about it a lot and bang on about lots of other people. And I will review it. I'll review it now. It's brilliant. Sam Hong is a very, very special human being. The magic he creates is a little bit like, you know, when you first remember learning a hanky vanish with a thumb tip, you see it and it looks so magical. It still looks magical. It's brilliant. And then you learn how to do it and you think, I'm never going to get away with that. And of course you do, because when you saw it, it looked brilliant. And if you're not careful, you can lose faith in it. This is a good thing. This is what magic should be like. This is why we love it. Crazy Sam's Handcuffs is the relinking of the rubber bands, which I learned and couldn't get it to look right. And Sam spent two minutes with me at Blackpool and just went, yep, there you go. That's what you want to do. And I've been performing it and it just freaks people out. So have a look at Crazy Sam's Handcuffs. It's just brilliant. Uh, and then the ring the finger ring one he does i haven't got yet i am going to review that when i get it but this is the one that everybody talked about at blackpool this is the reason one where he and I, I got that feeling of being a lay person again which i love to be put a pringle on my hand and just went like that and it exploded it was brilliant i loved it i saw him do it on other people people are still talking about it it is a great great thing and you're going to want to know how realistic is it that you're going to be able to do that and how long it's going to take you to do with this. With this trick, you can also do a lot of different things. So you can um, sort of make a almost like a levitation. It's like you're using loops or something, but you're not. So, so a pen will fly up, a bit of tissue paper will fly up. And it doesn't sound impressive, but it looks really good. You can do loads of different things with it, like the, the tissue paper disappears and coins appear. Um, there's a, quite a difficult thing to do, and you can make a rubber band vanish. It's a lot of applications for this. It is actually very versatile, but actually the easiest thing to do is the thing that arguably is the most impressive is this kind of explosion of a, of a crisp. Now it's got to be quite a light one. You can't get like a kettle chip or anything like that, it, but that doesn't matter. Nobody cares at Blackpool. Nobody's going to care in the real world, as we say. I've had such good fun with this. When I opened it and learned it, I went, really? And then I realized how clever it was. He must have spent hours trying to work out how to do this and the best application for it. It actually takes you through a routine with cards that uses it and it's like a free phase routine that builds up to this this shattering crisp and it kind of conditions the the audience member. Now you can do that and it's a really good way to go into it but if you just want to do it you can and if we're used to that kind of magic without giving too much away you're going to have no problem with it at all. When he talks you through it um, he says be careful because don't practice too much because it'll hurt. And I'm going, no, it won't. And yes, it did, because I, I spent a long time playing with it. But actually, the last thing I learned was the, the Pringle. I could do it straight away. On your hand, it looks great. On somebody else's hand, it's obviously better. And they're both just as easy. You've just got to find someone to practice on and just kind of work on your placements. It's really, this is really good stuff. And I think if this was released and it was a bit of tech and something really expensive, I still think people would do it because it is a powerful moment. Don't do what I did when I showed my friend James. I was doing this thing of pushing it and when it actually exploded, he couldn't even see it because my arm was there. And I was like, oh, not impressed. And he was like, well, what happened? I thought he just broke it and he couldn't see it. So, you know, be careful of that. But you get the idea. Um, and, you, you know, you know that I've played with it and, and, and perform with it. It's just, I just love it. I can't stop doing it. There's a sort of PK touches routine where he gets someone's hand and he does this to their other hand. 
and before he touched it, they feel the touch there. But not only do they feel a the touch, if you get it right, it really hurts. Now, you might be thinking, I don't want to do that to a spectator, but I might want to do it to my friends. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Not loads to say about it. I think it's easy. It is going to take practice and confidence. But I think with that practice and confidence, it's, there's no reason why you shouldn't do this. You get a lot of things you need to do to be able to do it. Um, you might have to buy refills at some point. That's not going to be expensive, but you've got plenty, plenty, plenty to be getting along with. And actually, Sam's a really good teacher. The download isn't one of these, you know, three and a half hour, I've got to give you every application that we thought of in a room uh, to feel like you've got value for money. This is all really good ways of doing it, but he does take you into depth. He does talk, talk about the things he needs to talk about, and he is a, a really good teacher. You feel like you've got all you need after that download. I think it's a bargain and I think it's a brilliant piece of magic. And I think if you're doing this, and I've seen a lot of people are doing it, you're going to keep doing it. It's versatile, loads of applications, great fun. And I think you're just going to have a blast with it. It's a stunner. It's just one of the favorite tricks of this kind that I've got in a while. And I'm looking forward to getting the ring. And I'm a bit of a fan, I must say. So uh, have a look at that. All the links will be below. Anything I've forgotten to mention? No. Are the angles? No, not a problem. Oh, that's what I was going to say. My friend was looking at the video of it. We filmed it and he looked at it close up in slow motion and he still couldn't work out how it was done. Had no idea. So that's, that's pretty amazing as well. So there you go. Uh, have a great one. Thanks very much, um, Hanson Chen, for sending it to me. This is from Hanson Chen Productions. Thanks, Sam, for, for showing it me uh, at Blackpool. And thanks to you for watching it and also going to have a look at onlinemagic.co. Like and subscribe and go into my Instagram at Steve Faulkner. Give us a like on that as well because I'm putting a lot more magic on it now and I think that's about it. Take care. See you later. Have a good one.